What's bracking guys? Welcome to another player growth test here. This time we're taking a look at Julian Weigl, who plays for 1860 Munich in the second division of Germany. So he's a 65 rated CDM to start out, a quality player, of course, only 18 years of age. Uh, one of another great young German players. You can see acceleration, sprint speed, stamina, strength, and reactions look very good for center events in mid, as well as his aggression, interceptions, and envision. He's definitely a little bit more on the defensive side, but uh, he has, you can see his great passing ability, good ball control to go along with some good uh, stand tackle and slide tackle marking is decent but uh you can see six foot one as well so some nice bit of height from him as a cdm as well as cm right footed medium medium three star weak foot two star skumos he's definitely going to be you know a bit more on the defensive side he could definitely play as a more of a box to box and you know kind of a ball winning type midfielder for you so it's good to have that type of versatility you know you could always have him come on at the end of the match as a cm and help you sure things out you can see that in that first season he grows to an 868 some great uh growth you can see in attributes such as ball control, short passing, uh, shot power, marking, long passing, stand tackle, slide tackle. Um, so he turns into, he has, you know, the growth in some very solid stats. You can see his mental stats went up nicely as well as interceptions and aggression stand out there. So definitely a solid CDM and you can see uh, the way his growth the way he grows essentially does help out in that fact. And again, uh, at the end of the second season, more growth in his aggression interception is great to see. Ball control goes up as well as slide tackle, stand tackle, short passing. Marking goes up very nicely as well. Good boost to his marking. Um, so uh, definitely going to be a solid, you know, just defensive midfielder is going to win a lot of balls for you in the midfield do a good job sitting in front of defenses and again ball control goes up more technical adding to the technical stats stamina uh interceptions and aggression goes up of course short passing long passing stand tackle slide tackle they're essentially going to be his best stats i'll just say that uh for julian value he's a quality player and of course he has that size which helps out with all those solid uh physical mental and tactical attributes you can see in 2020 he grows very nicely again ball control is up there short passing stand tackle sliding tackle as i said you know uh some of his best stats there you can marking goes up very nicely as well as long passing too can he actually cross as well so it's kind of nice to see a guy have that versatility i've noticed crossing seems to go up for anyone considerably no matter what position they play just kind of weird little uh quirk i've seen with the, all these growth tests um a little bit interesting there so a lot of these players probably have ability to you know actually play like right back if you have to have them play in that position especially when we're going looking at uh, center mids you know and the like uh eric aguirre was one that popped out in that sense but you'll see of course in the 2021 season weird drops in his physical stats but you can see technical ability is amazing now the ball control marking sliding tackle stand tackle short passing um all these stats and crossing of course as i said was just saying is uh, interesting to see that growth in that area so you maybe you know if you need to play him out right back or something you can put him out there uh could be interesting <laughs> but uh definitely would be has a lot of versatility to him in that aspect um as you can see because uh, sometimes he, of course you have to improvise you know when you're playing throughout a career mode and he can definitely do that for you probably can put him at center back right back play him at center mid more of a box to box ball winning midfielder type but uh that's what he has just at tremendous versatility he's going to turn into a quality midfielder for you and of course as i said could probably plug in some holes at some other positions so he's definitely a must buy he's another quality young german player um a common theme it seems like uh probably have a plenty of more of young germans to test eventually kind of came out kind of weird but all right well we'll be rounding out this episode now guys hope you enjoyed this player growth test and i'll be signing out now i'll catch you guys later